Hi everyone, welcome to the best of CAC series by IMS. Let's look at the next question from time, speed and distance. Now, what I would suggest here is that you pause this video, attempt this question on your own, and then watch the solution. So we have got a time, speed, distance, very interesting question over here that says, the two cars are traveling, one from A to B and the second from B to A, and they meet somewhere. After meeting each other, one car takes 45 minutes, the other takes 20 minutes to, to complete their journeys. Uh, the speed of the first car is given to us and the speed of the second car is required. Let's just represent this on a diagram. So, one car is traveling from A to B. This is car one. And this is traveling at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour. Second car is traveling car two from B to A. Let us suppose the speed of this car is X kilometers per hour. They meet somewhere at point P, let's say. So here they meet, so car one and car two, they meet here. After meeting, car one continues on its journey and it reaches B here in 45 minutes. Car one takes 45 minutes to reach its destination, whereas car two reaches its destination in 20 minutes. We have to find the value of x. Okay. Now, we, we are going to make use of the simple formula speed is equal to distance upon time or distance is equal to speed into time. Okay. So, we know that car one has covered the stretch PB in 45 minutes. And we also know the speed of car one that is 60 kilometers per hour. So what is distance? Distance is nothing but, so we are talking here about distance PB. So what is distance? Distance is speed into time. Speed is 60 kilometers per hour because the speed is given in hours. The time should also be represented in hours only. So 45 minutes will be 45 by 60 hours which means from here I can say the distance PB is 45 kilometers. What about the distance PA? Now, PA has been covered by car 2 at a speed of X kilometers per hour in 20 minutes. Again, using the same formula, distance is speed into time. X kilometers per hour is the speed because the speed is in kilometers per hour. The time should also be in hours only. So it's 20 by 60, which is 1 by 3, which means the distance PA is 1 by 3x kilometers. Okay, now this is what happened after the two cars met. What happened before the two cars met? Car 1 traveled the stretch AP, car 2 traveled the stretch BP, and they both took the same time. Now, time is nothing but the ratio of distance upon speed. Distances PB and PA are already known to us. The speeds are already known to us. Let us find out the time that the two cars took in meeting each other. So, time taken by car one. Travel AP. Travel AP. The first stretch is how much distance AP which is 1 by 3x kilometers, I can say x by 3, upon speed of car 1, which is 60 kilometers per hour, this is nothing but x by 180 hours. What about the time taken by car 2 in traveling BP? The distance BP is known to us, that is 45 kilometers. The speed of car 2 is known to us, that is x kilometers per hour. So this time is nothing but 45 by X hours. Now the two cars started simultaneously. So when they meet, they have obviously traveled for the same time, which means from here, I can say that the time taken by car one and car two is the same or X upon 180 is the same as 45 upon X. If you cross multiply, we get X square is equal to 8100 or X is equal to root of 8100 which is 90 kilometers per hour, which is our answer. So 90 kilometers per hour, option four, this is our answer. So this is one way of solving this question where we have made use of the formula speed is equal to distance upon time. Now let's look at another way of solving the same question. 
let's look at another method of solving the same question now making use of proportionality so so we know that if a speed is constant distance and time are directly proportional if distance is constant speed and time are inversely proportional and if time is constant distance and speed are directly proportional now using this proportionality if you write the relation between car 1 and car 2 okay and you cross multiply you get some formula there they are very important formula okay so i will not get into the derivation of those formulas just now that's that is like a homework for you uh, but i'll tell you what the formula are so if the first car travels from here meets the second car somewhere uh, after let's say time t okay uh, both the cars started simultaneously so obviously the second car has also taken time t only in meeting after meeting car 1 takes time t1 hours to reach its destination and car 2 takes time t2 hours to reach its destination let us suppose the speed of car 1 is sa let us suppose the speed of car 1 is sa and the speed of car 2 is s as I said, if you write the proportionality relation and cross multiply, you will get two very useful formula. Okay, so the first one that you get from here is t square is equal to t1 t2, which means t is the under root of t1 and t2. And the second one you get is speed of a upon speed of b is equal to under root of t2 upon t1 okay now t2 is the time taken by car b and t1 is the car time taken by car a or the first car so you can see that it is inverse over here it is t2 upon t1 for sa upon sp okay now if we knew these formula through proportionality we could have done this question faster so we've already seen one method where we have solved this question by making use of equations the second method is I could have used the first formula given over here. T1 and T2 are both known to me. I could have calculated T. So how much is T? T is under root of 45 into 20, which is root 900, which is 30. T is 30 minutes or it is half an hour. Okay. So I could have calculated the value for T. The T is half an hour. Uh, now what is known to us is, car 1 travels at the speed of uh, 60 kilometers per hour so in half an hour uh, how much distance will it cover distance uh, let's call this a p b so what is distance a p distance a p at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour in 30 minutes which in half which is half an hour how much distance does it cover 60 into 1 by 2 which is nothing but 30 kilometers now this distance AP was covered by car two in the second stretch and for covering this distance, it took 20 minutes. So the distance is known, time is known. We could have calculated the speed. The speed is nothing but the speed is, the speed is distance upon time. So 30 kilometers divided by, remember the 20 is in minutes. So I need to convert it to hours. So 20 by 60, which is one by three. This is 30 into three, which is 90 kilometers per hour which is our answer. Okay, so using the first formula, t square is equal to t1, t2, we could have got this answer faster compared to the time taken by solving, uh, uh, compared to the time taken when we solved it by equations. Now, had we known the second formula here, SA upon SB is equal to under root t2 by t1, we would have got the answer in one step. So that is the shortest way of solving the question. That is our third method of solving this question. Speed of A was known, that is 60. The speed of B is unknown. Let's write it as SB. Uh, T2 and T1 are both known. Because they are both in minutes, I don't need to convert into hours because I'm taking a ratio. Okay, so T2 is 20. T1 is 45. The simplest ratio is 4 by 9. Now, 4 is the square root of 2. And 9 is the square root, or sorry, 4 is the square of 2. And 9 is the square of 3. So this comes to 2 by 3. And if I cross multiply here now, I get SB is equal to 60 into 3 by 2, which is 90 kilometers per hour, which is my answer. And you can see that had I used the second formula, I would have got the same answer in one step.
Okay. So not only do you need to know how to solve the question, but you need to know different approaches and then you can see what kind of data is given and you can use the shortest approach to solve the question. Now, if you've understood the different approaches that we have discussed, I have got a replica question for you here. Please attempt this replica question and leave your answers in the comment section.